Okay, so in today's video, this is uh, video 12 of video uh, 30, so uh, day 12 of 30, and this is the, again, this is, if, you, if you're just picking up or um, kind of into this, we will have some videos in the show notes below to kind of catch up, but uh, this is the servo, uh, servo motion state program, basically the uh, state machine that's this can be controlling several axes in a controlled manner uh, with draws and everything and it's, and basically have an HMI system tied in with it so we'll have everything 100% emulated with no physical hardware whatsoever um, in the last video I added the uh, state machine I, uh, what I did is I came back and added basically just some uh, I guess you know some notations back behind it to tell you what what the states did so if somebody was coming behind looking at it it would say okay well in this state right here we know that we're in our emergency stop state in this state right here we're in our stop and not ready in this state is a spare because it's commented out um, this state right here it stopped and it's ready so it's waiting on something to happen if you hit the star button it goes to a start state and then again, uh, the last state would be state five, waiting on a stop. Uh, so I just kind of, you know, put some comments in there about that. Um, so what we're going to do now is kind of feed the inputs into the state machine. Okay. So uh, first and foremost, we do not have an e-stop. So let's go ahead and add an e-stop. So let's just call it e-stop relay. Okay. So uh, basically just a drive we'll, we'll probably cycle it you know via uh, some some on the HMI or something just to kind of to show it works right okay so if the e-stop happens it will e-stop and shut the machine down now the not readies uh, I kind of like to to add this into the system uh, and show you exactly what exactly what I'm talking about so for each one, of, if you recall back in the access program, right, we had the control. So basically the summing bit right here. Uh, so if, if nothing was faulted, it sums up and says, okay, the access is that the access is okay. All right. So we want to actually use that bit and say that in our instance, this is a servo system, right? So it's a coordinated motion system. We want to know if the access goes into a fault. If the access goes into a fault, we want to shut the machine down. So in our instance, we would like to say, okay, well, in the instance, I'm sorry, in the instance that the any one of the servos is faulted out, or we have the gearing issue too, right? So we'll come in, pull out all of our, uh, we'll put in all of our servos. So make sure we get one through one through four, right? We have four servos. We want to make sure we get all four. Um, now, there was an issue with the uh, gearing. Now, um, was it the gearing or the? Yes, it was the gearing. So. In that instance where the gearing faulted out, we want to make sure we, we look and track this bit too. So if the gear faults out, that's another summing bit, right? So in each one of the axes, we had the gears. So if the gear instruction faulted out, we want to make sure we shut down the machine, right? So we want to add this in the same spot, right? So, in the instance that that happens, we want to go ahead and add that same stuff in. Well, we want to add, incorporate all that into the the um, the not ready, right? So we want to shut down, make sure the machine shuts down. And in the, uh, if you recall, in the last uh, the state machine or the uh, the structure tech state machine that if a fault happens right or if a not ready bit happens 
then it will shut the machine down and go to a state one. Okay, so we will, this is basically feeding that, saying, okay, well, if that happens, that's what we want to do. So in all those instances right there, so far, that's what we have. Okay, so uh, in the stop button, we'll go ahead and feed the stop button. Well, if the stop button, you recall, we, we added, added that over here. So let's copy that. And let's throw that in the uh, machine over here, right? Okay, so in that instance, we can take that out. So in the instance of this, we can take it out. Because we're going to come back and put, we're going to come back and put the uh, output coming out of the state machine into that. Uh, we'll do that probably on the next video, but right now I just want to show the inputs coming in and how we're feed, feeding those inputs. So, uh, with everything good, right? So, what we want to do right here is say that there's nothing faulted out. So, again, this is kind of like another double check, right? Sorry about that. My mouse is kind of messed up. I just shot over there. The batteries are probably dying. So we want to make sure we drag all these down and say that if they're okay, they're okay. And I just noticed something. So I just noticed I typed in a 4 right here when it should have been a 3. So let's handle that real quick while we got it. And that solves that. Okay, so. Okay, so. Let's think about this. So, if we have the access OKs, then we should be ready to run, correct? Well, uh, I would say you are. Okay, because you don't have anything stopping you, right? So if all the axes are faulted are not faulted out, you should be okay to run. We're not looking at the gearing at that point because we don't actually gear until we start, right? So we should be good with that. Now again with the start button, the HMI start, and I'm just gonna use the the keypad so kind of bear with me. Okay, so with the start button We'll copy and paste that. Take that back up here. And paste. Okay, so with the start button, and we, we thinking we should probably put the one shots in there. So let's copy this. And again, we're going to come back and revisit this stuff. So, let's copy this and throw the one shots in there. And I'm going to leave the one shots over in the other other section too, because um, I will use them. I'm not sure if. We know how deep we will use them, but I'll change the, the address at least so that we don't get confused later on. And let's go back to the state machine. Okay. So if the system is running, what we want to look at here is we want to look at is the virtual access running, right? So what we can do is we can take this instruction right here copy it and then bring it back we can do it one or two ways we can we can bring it back and, and say is the IP working right and so is it in progress so we can oh, I copied that's not good okay um, let's let's look at this several different ways so I'm going to show you this way first. We can do this way, which um, I'm not necessarily keen on, but we're, we're going we're gonna to show it. So 
we can look at the in progress, right? So if, it, if it's jogging, if the whole system is jogging, we do know we're running because our axis is geared together, right? We don't have a gearing fault where axes are, are okay, they're, they're not faulted out. So essentially everything is tied together, it's coordinated together, right? And all we should have to pay attention to at this point in time is the virtual axis. Although, I will say, what I would look at is I would look at a different bit. If I come down to my control tags, I would look at my axis, right? And our tag database is getting a little bit bigger. And we want to look at, I believe it is, and it may not be, <clears throat> so it may not be under the uh, a virtual axis. So I'm looking for the, uh, basically I want to want to have a, a standstill. So you should have like a standstill, standstill window, um, and that's what you would normally use, right? To say basically if the system is is running or not running. Um, you can you can look at the velocity and just say that you're over a, a set velocity. You're definitely running. Um, so we'll do that. So we'll basically take the average velocity, and what we, I mean, we could take command velocity, but um, Honestly, I would take average. We can we can basically say in the average velocity, I'm going to come down and say. So we can come down and, and add a compare, and say if the average velocity is greater than, let's just say. Point one in our case, <clears throat> it, this is just our case, right? Because we're using virtual virtual axis, we do not have the standstill bit, or we do not have a, a um, anything of that nature. Net, normally, a standstill bit comes default from Rockwell at like I think ten maybe standstill window. Um, you can widen it, you can open it by GSVs or, or not GSVs, but uh, SSVs. But um, in our case, we're going to go ahead and do this. So we'll basically come down and say if all the axes are over a set amount, we are running. Right. Okay, so what we want to say is, okay, we're jogging. We're definitely jogging, right? The jog feature, the jog command is not aired out, and it is in the IP the in progress from where we told it to run right here, correct? So everything coincides with that. And then we are ac actually coming back verifying that each axis is running, even though we're ver verifying that they're geared up here. So if, if one of these were to fault out, it would stop the machine anyway. We are verifying that, that we are running so we're kind of double checking our, our double check. We're, we're making sure that everything is officially running and doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, in that instance, uh, that gives us our, our system running bit. So that will transition transition into a state five. Um, it would it would make this uh, input state of five go high. In in our case of the state machine that's what we would be looking at to go into state 5. So if the system is running, in the, our instance right here, if we're in 4 and we're, we're looking for this to go into 5, right, then that's what we're feeding it right here, then it would go straight into to, um, that, that state. <clears throat> okay, so with this said, let's go back through this just real quick. We'll run back through it. Okay, so we added our e-stop, which is our e-stop right here. That will bring the state machine out of whatever state it, it is currently in into a e-stop state and stop the machine. Okay, so in 
the second instance, so ROM 3, we're basically saying if, if there's any access fault or if there's any kind of uh, gearing problem that uh, access didn't gear, then we're going to go ahead and, and make it a not ready bit. So we're going to take it out of whatever state it's in and take it to a state 1. In this stop scenario, if a stop button is pressed, it will stop the machine and go into a state 3. I say that because it will go into a state 1 and then jump in. If everything is ready, it will jump it back into a state 3. If you look at our, our state logic, it will jump into a state 1 because if a stop button is pressed right here at state 3, it jumps into a state 1. And if everything is ready, it's going to jump back into state 3. It's going to happen so quick that you can't see it. You can trend it and catch it that way. But it will happen. Okay, so if, again, in the not in the ready state, so we're verifying that we're ready, what all the uh, accesses are not faulted out, then we can hit a start button and start the machine. And as the machine starts, the gear, the uh, virtual axis starts, all the other axes start because they're geared together and the system is running. So that pretty much sums up our state machine. Now we have not addressed our output array. So we will come back and address our output array in the next video. Um, I probably won't fill the output array. What I'll probably do is download and probably run it and show you how it works. So in that instance, uh, again, we kind of ran over the 15-minute mark just slightly, uh, but I think it was very value-added. I think it helped out, um, kind of helps you see the, how system, the system is tying together nicely. Um, and uh, again, and just I appreciate your time, appreciate your patience, and hopefully you know, you, you're starting to, to see kind of where we're headed with this and how the, the sim a simple state machine using indirect addressing works. And uh, we will be tying this whole system in to get it fully functional and get it working. So without further ado, uh, I'll go ahead and close uh, this day out and we'll start back with a fresh day and come back and explain how the, uh, we'll download and explain how the array works. Okay, well thank you for your time.